Hello, good evening. This is Susanna Valle from Macromedia University. Welcome to this uh, webinar about uh, our bachelor and master programs in English in Germany uh, in the areas of uh, media, communication, management, uh, design, uh, fashion and acting. And we will go through our presentation. Um, of course, you are welcome to ask questions uh, at any time during the presentation. And uh, at the end uh, uh, of this conversation, we will go through your questions uh, uh, through the um, chat and questions uh, function. Uh, thank you very much for being here. I hope you will enjoy it. And uh, I hope also to discuss later on a little bit with you about uh, our programs. Um, so, as we said, Macromedia University is located in Germany. Uh, it's a young university founded in 2006, and now we are part of Galileo Global Education, uh, a very interesting international group of universities worldwide. Um, as you can see, we have several locations uh, in Germany, uh, Hamburg, Berlin, Leipzig, Cologne, Stuttgart, Munich, and Freiburg. Um, in fact, the programs uh, in English are available, especially in Berlin and uh, in Munich. Um, we have at the moment uh, more than 2,000 students uh, over all the locations, uh, around 80 professors, uh, and for our programs uh, in English, the international students uh, are the majority, over the 75%. Uh, um, our programs are accredited, so studying at Macromedia means uh, getting a degree at the same level as in any other German public uh, or private uh, university. Um, so why students uh, should choose Macromedia University for their uh, education? We offer several English degrees uh, for bachelor and master level. Um, we have the international locations that we just uh, mentioned, so mostly Berlin, Munich and Cologne. Um, our programs are accredited and we offer an integrated semester abroad for the BA programs and an integrated internship as well. So an experience with the company um, directly during the studies. Our professors are professionals from the media and design industry and we have projects at every semester. We try to combine theory and practice as much as possible so that students uh, develop also uh, let's say practical skills uh, or work on case histories which might be similar to what uh, is going to happen later on in their professional life and um, here you may see already some images of our locations um, as we said the Berlin is the most international uh, location that we have it's an international city very open-minded the creative uh, program Probably some of you uh, have already been there, so um, you have already some, some knowledge about it. Munich is also very interesting, as you know, is located in the southern part uh, um, of the country. It's a very wealthy area, uh, it's a very important uh, um, economic center uh, in Germany, and at the same time, it uh, provides a very high quality of life uh, uh, besides uh, uh, great uh, work opportunities. Um, Cologne, I mean, we mentioned Cologne because we have one program available here in English. Uh, it's our BA program of film directing. It's a media and design hub, the city itself, and it's also an international students uh, city with a lot of uh, international students. Um, here we can see a little bit of our campus life. So our um, locations are always central. Um, so we um, provide the facilities uh, in the city center um, um, where, of the regions where we are located. Our technical equipment is always up to date and available um, at any time, so also outside the lesson time. We work uh, and focus quite a lot also on events uh, on campus. Now, of course, as you can imagine, at the moment we are having these <laughs> events virtually. 
uh, but we are planning as soon as possible to uh, take back uh, our normal schedule on campus. So here you can see some images of some of our events like Talent Camp. Um, it's an event where we invite professionals of the design and media scene uh, to give a speech to the students and also to, uh, let's say, suggest them some projects uh, and some uh, initiatives uh, that uh, could be interesting and um, that are also uh, a trend, for example, in the media world. So students are always in contact with the reality of the media industry uh, already during their studies. Um, here you have an image of an excursion we had uh, uh, at the Art Directors Club Congress in Hamburg. Uh, so we uh, take students uh, also for visits uh, to professional environments uh, so that they can again enter in contact uh, with the professional reality of the field uh, of their field of study. And we said at the beginning that we offer an integrated semester abroad during our BA uh, programs. So you have here some of the locations available for the semester abroad. You see that the idea is to have a semester abroad, uh, the possibility to have the semester abroad in every continent. So we have at least one partner university in every continent. And this happens, uh, as we said, uh, <clears throat> during the BA programs. It's the third semester, so the beginning of the second year, and the students pass their exams within the partner university. And here you have some images of uh, their experience abroad, um, also because uh, they have a blog where they publish uh, uh, articles uh, about their studies uh, and uh, semester abroad. So this is all uh, quite, uh, quite interesting. Here you see again the information that we uh, just mentioned. So students uh, pass their exams uh, abroad. So there, there is no gap between what they start in Germany and the semester abroad and we try to guide them within for, for their choice because they choose three priority universities and then they are assigned one of them and they have also some practical support by our international office and by the international office at the partner university and they have then the possibility to uh, let's say write about their experience abroad within our our students uh, blog um, another very interesting collaboration is the one we have uh, with the Westminster University you will see that we offer some of our BA programs uh, also in collaboration with the Westminster University so we say that we offer a German degree and a Bachelor of Honours by Westminster University so we can also uh, follow the UK admission requirements uh, besides uh, the German ones. The programs are the same, but we offer them with two different uh, degrees. So what are, uh, let's say, the specializations uh, available at uh, Macromedia University? Here, here you may already see the um, bachelor programs. So media and communication management, uh, media and communication design, fashion design and acting international management or fashion management and the film directing. You see that for 2020 um, programs are offered mostly in Berlin, except for film directing, which is offered in Cologne. Media and communication management, it's a program where students learn how to um, create content, written content for different types of media. So as you may see, they can um, then start working in the area of event management, music management and sport uh, management, for example. Uh, other uh, possibilities for, for their future jobs are the advertising field, the brand management field and so on. Media and Communication Design is a creative program where students learn how to uh, 
um, create and produce visual layouts for different types of media. So as you, as you see, we work on visual design, motion design, graphic design, illustration, service design, interaction design, digital design, and so on. It's a general program where we teach how to, uh, let's say, work on images for different types of media. International management and fashion management. Okay, these titles perhaps are a little bit more uh, self-explaining. So we are talking about business programs. Um, okay, meant for first of all for people willing to uh, work with international markets. So this is the idea of international management. And these students can also choose the specialization of fashion management. So they will learn how to uh, manage and organize a company with a focus on the fashion industry. Fashion design, this is also, uh, I believe, quite self-explaining because the idea is to start from zero and become able to produce a whole fashion collection. Uh, we combine a theory and practice, of course, also um, for this program, which is very much um, focusing on production. So here students have to work a lot uh, with their hands uh, and really create uh, uh, pieces of clothing and fashion items and so on. This is, uh, let's say, the creative part of the fashion industry compared with the fashion management, for example, that we just mentioned, which focuses on the management of fashion industries. Film directing, okay, the idea is to become, of course, a film director. So students learn about all the tools and techniques uh, which are needed for this area. Really also on a technical point, of, um, from a technical point of view. So you see that we work on staging, blocking, image resolution, creative writing, script analysis, and so on. And then also, of course, on fundamentals of directing and production. And we don't um, focus just on the movie industry, but also on advertising videos, uh, documentaries, uh, uh, short movies, and so on. So the area of specialization is, again, a choice of the student. So why someone would choose Macromedia University for a BA program? And the idea is that, as we said, that we have uh, uh, a combination between uh, uh, theory and real life uh, and project works. And we offer an international experience with the semester abroad. There is an internship included in the program just before the thesis at the sixth or seventh semester. Uh, the thesis is normally realized in collaboration with a partner company and we have a career service helping students to enter uh, working life straight after their studies. The admission requirements or at least <clears throat> the documents needed uh, for starting the admission process are CV, passport copy, high school certificate, uh, with grades uh, and for Turkish students normally um, we also ask to present the result of the Turkish university entrance exam. We can discuss details uh, later on but okay this would be the idea. Uh, we also ask for an English proficiency certificate which could be TOEFL 72 or IELTS 6 and other application documents depending on the program like, for example, motivation letter, portfolio, and so on. So, master programs. Sorry, drinking a little bit of water. Um, master programs. Uh, um, okay, of course, students uh, apply for these programs uh, after they have graduated from a BA in any field. So it's not necessary to have studied in the same field as your master program. So we have media and communication management, smart city design, luxury fashion management and design management. Um, you see that here we also have Munich available as a location, particularly for design management. Um, here you can see the structure of our master programs. Um, 
So our master programs uh, can last for three or four semesters. So one year and a half or two years. And it depends on the equivalence between previous studies and studies in Germany. So it's, it's now a little bit technical, but okay, just to give you an idea that some applicants are eligible for uh, studying four semesters and some other ones for studying three semesters. So they save one semester, uh, in fact. <clears throat> Normally concerning Turkish applicants, um, students who graduated with four or five year degrees, they are eligible for the three semester version. We can see this in detail once again, but okay, just to give you an idea. Media and communication management, again, it's a program where we um, teach how, as we said before for the BA, how to create and manage contents for different types of media. And here we have three specializations available, brand management, media and communication management, or digital media business. And the program is offered in Berlin. Design management <coughs> and smart city design. Okay, design management is offered in Munich and smart city design in Berlin. And these are, let's say, strategic, design programs where design is not really explored from the technical point of view, but from the strategic point of view, and it's considered as a set of tools um, which can be used to face or to manage any type of project and not just creative uh, projects. Uh, an example could be, for example, <clears throat> sorry, projects for services, for transportation in a city, or for, let's say, uh, managing a team in a company and so on. So uh, these are the options. Of course, smart city design, as you can imagine, focusing on the organization of, uh, of a city and not really from, let's say, the point of view of urban design, but from the point of view of services, or we could say the point of view of the, let's say, usability of the city itself. <clears throat> um, with the idea that it should be more comfortable and more, uh, let's say, um, easier, easier to, to, uh, to live in for its inhabitants. So again, why to choose Macromedia University for a master program? Um, we have the same philosophy as for the BA programs. So uh, we have a career service uh, helping students to find a job. We offer real projects uh, and case studies. We have more than the 70% of international students. Our professors are also, let's say, individual coaches, and we develop the master thesis with a corporate partner. So admission requirements for master programs. <coughs> Sorry. Um, okay, the documents to present for the admission to master programs are again CV, passport copy, and then university degree um, with transcript. Then the number of credits will be verified by the university. And the certificate of English is also needed. And then application documents, which are motivation letter, recommendation letter, <clears throat> and portfolio for creative programs. So here um, we have some students' projects and case studies. Perhaps later on, we can also see this uh, on the university website. Um, here, <clears throat> it's particularly interesting because you can see some logos of our partner companies. Many of them are quite uh, uh, important. They are, um, okay, um, these are multinational companies which, uh, uh, which are very famous and very well known. Okay, this project uh, has been realized uh, at a local level in Berlin. 
in collaboration with, uh, uh, let's say, um, the public transportation company in Berlin, which is called the BDG. Now, the idea, <coughs> sorry, the idea of the company was to improve the communication between customers and the company itself. So students have taken care of the screens available on the different uh, means uh, of uh, transportation. So you can see here a small example. Um, here you can see the, um, an example of competition that our students, uh, um, let's say, um, have in fact won in collaboration with our School of Creative Arts in Berlin. So the selection was an international competition organized by Benetton in collaboration with uh, the United, um, let's say, in collaboration with the Division of the United Nations. <clears throat> so they have created this 30 seconds video for the World Refugee Day. And uh, in fact, they won the selection and the video was then shown in the flagship stores in Milan, Barcelona and London. Um, another interesting project uh, um, realized in collaboration with Jägermeister. Um, this was a project of the media school. Uh, it was a project of brand communication and advertising. So again, the idea was to uh, improve uh, the post sales uh, communication between uh, the company and the customers. Here you don't really have a lot of images uh, of the project itself because, as we said, it was mostly a project uh, regarding the communication uh, of the company. So it was, um, um, okay, students gave a contribution more on the organizational level. Um, other projects uh, that you can see here have been realized, for example, in Berlin with Ernest and Young. This cooperation project uh, um, was focusing on the idea of uh, digital transformation through collaboration. So there are many, in many occasions, uh, um, students enter in contact with companies on these uh, big topics uh, uh, of the media, uh, of the contemporary media scene, and they are invited to give their contribution. So here, okay, you have uh, an image showing the students visiting uh, the location where uh, the company is. Another important project was this one realized in collaboration with Deloitte. Uh, again, the program uh, involved was the Master Program of Media and Communication Management. Uh, and again, students in this case uh, had to provide ideas uh, about uh, making the city smarter, more comfortable and uh, more usable, as we, said, uh, as we said at the beginning. So this is what we normally show for our presentation. You see that it's not very long. Here you have uh, my contact details, but I will also provide them in the uh, chat session. Now, I will try to share with you um, our website page showing students' projects. And uh, so we will, uh, we will try to go a little bit through some students' projects uh, so you can see some more examples. So now I, I'm just asking you for a little bit of patience uh, that I, um, while I try to uh, modify um, the screen sharing, so the, the page that you can see. So, okay, this was the presentation. And now this would be, okay. Now, okay, I see that there are already some, some, <laughs> some questions. Uh, okay, we will go soon through the questions uh, as well. I hope uh, you will have a little time for that. Um, so now we are, um, I am trying to share with you um, our website page where we show students' projects. So, so let me share it again, just to be sure. 
Okay, here we are. So this is the, uh, okay, it's, <laughs> it's self-evident that this is uh, the university website. <clears throat> and of course you can find uh, and collect uh, information about the programs <clears throat> and what we said. Uh, something interesting is also this section called events, because here you can see the schedule of uh, uh, the events that we normally organize on campus. We said that we tend to organize events with professionals and so on. Now, uh, as we said, at this moment, uh, uh, we are not, uh, <laughs> of course, allowed to organize events in person, but this will probably be the case uh, again for, uh, for the fall. So the project page is here. So here you really have a collection of students' projects uh, from different areas. And in fact, you can uh, surf uh, through the different projects and choose, for example, if you are more interested in a master program, you can, for example, select master and so on. Otherwise, you just see the uh, results for all the degrees. I hope you can see it, yes. In case, uh, in case there is an issue, just let me let me know through the chat. Um, okay, so for example, we said we said uh, a little bit before that okay, we work with companies and we have this master program of uh, smart city design. So we have here this project uh, which has been realized with. Uh, Mercedes-Benz. This also doesn't need, uh, of course, any comment. <clears throat> um, okay, the idea, uh, um, the company, of course, you know, it's a worldwide famous company, but okay, they didn't come to Macromedia asking uh, students for new models of cars, for example, because, of course, they don't need our students for this. Uh, but they asked for solutions for a different type of mobility. You know that mobility is changing a lot nowadays and even big car companies know that in the near future um, the solution will not always be uh, selling, let's say, cars uh, or trucks uh, to private uh, or to companies and so on, because we will have to reduce the volumes of traffic everywhere. So here, the idea was to ask students for a solution for people working around the city. You see, future scenarios for the mobility of crafts in car-free cities. This was the idea of, uh, uh, of the company. And here you see different uh, images of students' projects. Um, okay, uh, the main idea of these projects uh, was to create uh, some multi-purpose locations around the city where craftsmen like, for example, electricians could find their tools to work in a specific neighborhood and didn't have to carry uh, all the tools they needed around the whole city and they could just go around this multifunction uh, station with uh, lighter means of transportation so here you see bicycles but it could be it could be anything else so this was a very a very interesting project and it's interesting also because it was okay mostly realized by students of smart city design but in collaboration with students from other courses as well like international management for example um, so it's also multidisciplinary and it you see that it can also put together students from different levels and different areas of studies this is very useful because it's again um, an idea which um, comes back all the time during professional practice. You are always uh, involved in projects where the team members have different skills, different specializations, different backgrounds and so on. And here again, <laughs> you see again an image of the students visiting the Mercedes-Benz location um, during their project work. 
let me see what I can show you again. Um, okay, here it's a completely different uh, project, for example. It's a company which is a little bit, uh, let's say, less famous for sure uh, than Mercedes. It's Combine, it's called the Combine, it's a social app. Uh, and here students have created or let's say contri contributed to develop an app um, suggesting outfits. So the idea was to, uh, okay, give, uh, give uh, new uh, styling ideas for combining different uh, uh, fashion items, uh, pieces of clothing, accessories, and so on. Uh, what we have again, something that can be interesting for you could be this uh, project uh, uh, for Cosmopolitan. Again, it's a communication project, so you have a little bit less images that, than you might uh, uh, expect uh, uh, for, for students' projects, because here the idea was to work uh, on the idea of brand experience for a magazine and this you you may understand that this applies very well also to a magazine like cosmopolitan so this was also very interesting um okay here you have a little bit uh, of uh, okay fashion again we saw that this project uh, uh, sorry this program is focusing a lot on production so um, already students uh, during their first year of studies uh, must be able to create and produce something for the final year fashion show. And this was about uh, an experimental textile laboratory. So the idea was to uh, use different techniques or innovative techniques uh, with uh, uh, textiles that normally students use in fashion schools or also to suggest uh, uh, new solutions uh, for the use of textiles. And they have done quite a lot of these activities also recently with the production, as you can imagine, of masks uh, and uh, other tools which might uh, be, be useful during the current uh, crisis. Now, I don't want to be late, so I start perhaps uh, answering some questions. So then perhaps later on we can come back to images and to projects and so on, because I saw that I have quite some questions so, so um, we need a little bit of time for that uh, um, okay I start from the chat section uh, I have a um, question from Merve I'm a journalist uh, um, I especially think of the smart city design department is there a different area you can recommend close to journalism and um, now we don't really have a program of journalism in English so this is not provided at all uh, I think smart city design could be interesting for you you, uh, even if you will not work on environmental journalism itself, but you would work on solutions for the city. Um, this, this is very relevant for your profession, but it's something else. Otherwise, if you are interested on working on the, let's say, production of written contents, as we said, it would be the case of media and communication management. But again, for this program, you don't really work on, um, sorry, on, journal on journalistic writing. You don't have this subject at all, unfortunately, but you learn mostly how to Mm, create written contents for media for um, commercial or advertising purposes. So it's very different, but it might be interesting for you, considering that you have a background uh, in journalism. We have several journalists, uh, in fact, applying for that program. Uh, now, Bourget asked, uh, do we have a chance to intern in the companies that are listed on your presentation, such as Red Bull? Yes, absolutely yes. This cannot be guaranteed, of course, and it might not be the case for everybody, but our partner companies, and also the important ones that you have seen during the presentation, 
often ask for graduates who might be interested in an internship. So this is absolutely a possibility. Um, now, other questions in the question section. Lutvier, do we have work permit while we are studying? Mm, not really. You have a student, you get, uh, you apply and get a student a study residence permit. And then <clears throat> you are allowed to work part-time besides your studies. Uh, again, Lutfie, could you please inform us about accommodation options? We don't offer accommodation directly, but we provide information in order to find an accommodation. So students have to find their own accommodation with our support and help. Uh, Beljan, hello, is there an English studies program? I've studied translation. No, not really. If you mean English language and literature, mm, not really. No, we offer, as we said, media and communication, business and fashion. Um, Aisin, could you please tell us about language requirements? <clears throat> we said English proficiency certificate. TOEFL, IBT 72 or IELTS 6. Uh, if you have studied your bachelor degree or high school in English, you are exempted from presenting the English proficiency certificate. What kind of social activities are available for international students? Okay, we organize some uh, social activities, uh, but uh, honestly, you don't have to expect uh, this kind of activities at the same level, for example, as uh, uh, a US campus. Uh, so we, uh, as we said, organize uh, events at campus, excursions uh, outside the campus, uh, both uh, related with study or just, let's say, touristic uh, uh, excursions outside the university. We have a radio station in at least two locations, Berlin and Cologne, if I'm not wrong. <clears throat> there might be some sport activities as well, but these are organized, uh, let's say, uh, in an independent way by the students. So this is not organized uh, directly by the university. And uh, how many Turkish students you have at your university? Now I don't have the number. No, we don't have huge numbers in general because if you consider that uh, in Berlin students are around 300 uh, in total, so it's not very big. And this includes also German students. Uh, probably at the moment we have around, uh, I don't know, 20 uh, Turkish students, so it's not huge. Of course, there is a group, but it's not a huge community. Do you have Turkish faculty members at your university? <laughs> now, uh, this is a little bit difficult to answer, but uh, I remember now for sure that for sure the coordinator of the fashion design department uh, has Turkish uh, origins, but she's German. Um, Hesna, you have already replied. Okay, sorry, please ignore my question, no problem. Uh, okay, because she was saying, can we apply to BA program without university acceptance letter for a Turkish university? I mean, you can also without the Turkish university entrance exam, but if you have it, it's better to present it um, because, uh, because it, it increases, in fact, your admission uh, possibilities. Uh, have you ever been to Turkey before? Yes. <laughs> so, yes, I have been to Turkey quite some times. Um, uh, okay, again, Merve, are there scholarship opportunities? Yes, almost for all the programs. Uh, but, okay, generally speaking, yes, they can be merit-based or need-based. Students can apply at the end. Uh, of the admission process and uh, uh, they cover just a part of the fees. So it's important to remember that they cover uh, just a part of the fees so we don't have full scholarships. <clears throat> I just write you again my contact details in the uh, chat section. Okay, my name, family name. Okay, so you see my email, sc.val at macromedia.de or also our general email address, which is internationalmacromedia.de. 
I see that I was worried of being late, but we are not late, <laughs> luckily. So <clears throat> if you want, uh, uh, if you want, there is still uh, still time, uh, still time for questions. Uh, Bourget, of course, could you also please inform us about the application deadline? Now, at the moment, uh, okay, this year is a little bit special, so the deadline, uh, application deadline has been extended, and you might also hear about the fact that the German embassies at the moment um, <clears throat> in Turkey, as far as I heard this week. Uh, you might have uh, some more updated information, but okay, I heard that they are working just on emergency cases. So they didn't even start uh, working on study visas. So this is going to take probably longer than the normal. Uh, but okay, at the moment we are, are accepting um, applications until July 31st at least uh, so no problem at all for the next two weeks and here we are talking about october 2020 because for march 2021 or october 2021 there is no problem uh, for those dates <clears throat> the applications are uh, open um, do you have any academic partnership with Turkish universities? Uh, unfortunately, not really or not yet, but we hope. <laughs> uh, this would be a very interesting idea. So we hope, we hope this to happen. Uh, I think we are fine with questions. Okay, Burje, again, is it possible to start studying online and then continue on campus next semester? Yes, <clears throat> sorry, this is very important this year uh, because, okay, we are planning to be back to studies in class. So this is the idea for October. Uh, as you know, in Germany, things have been managed uh, reasonably well. We, of course, we cannot be sure <laughs> about anything, unfortunately, but things are overall fine. So we are planning to be back uh, uh, to classes. But if a student is not allowed to leave her or his country because borders are closed, we will provide the education virtually to that person until the time she or he can come. Um, but this is not a choice of the student at the moment. So it happens when the person cannot travel. So you, if you think that we might have, for example, applicants from the United States, it's probable those ones will study online for the first semester. I mean, Turkey, we hope not, but in case it happens that the borders are not completely open, we will also provide the education virtually for the first semester. Uh, you're saying, how is the cor coronavirus pandemic situation in your city? Now we are talking about Berlin and Munich. Um, of course, we can't say that uh, um, the virus is cancelled or non-existing or anything like that. Uh, but there has been a very big reduction of cases in the last months. So in, in these cities and in Germany in general, the authorities have normally taken the um, initiative to reopen the activities with some restrictions and limitations due to the fact that people should keep the distance, uh, should use masks in, in, uh, when they are inside and so on. But overall, uh, I mean, things uh, uh, look fine at the moment. You might have heard of cases coming back in some uh, regions of Germany. First of all, this is not where your studies will happen. And this has been, let's say, kind of controlled and managed because this is what will happen at the moment. There might be a few cases and they will be managed. So other people will not be, let's say, involved or damaged by that. 
And, okay, uh, do you accept also Duolingo score? Not really, unfortunately. <laughs> this is not accepted, but okay, consider that when we ask for an English proficiency certificate, this must be um, delivered uh, at the beginning of the program. So if someone applies now and doesn't have the certificate, there is time until October to pass the certificate. Uh, again, a question from Nijati. Is there any Turkish restaurant close to your campus? Yes. Now let me write uh, in the chat section, especially in Berlin, we are in a neighborhood which is called Kreuzberg. Kreuzberg. You can read it in the chat uh, section. It's in Berlin. Okay, Berlin. Some of you for sure have been there and went out in the evening and so on. This is beautiful. Um, it's also called, uh, it was, okay, perhaps now not really, but it was also called uh, the Turkish neighborhood or the Turkish area. And nowadays it's a very creative neighborhood where a lot of startups uh, have opened and uh, I mean, it, it's, it's very mixed and so on. But it started uh, from, let's say, foreign communities, among them the Turkish one. So, of course, <laughs> there is more, I believe, than uh, more than one Turkish restaurant. Don't worry. We have also very, very close in the same street where the university is located, we have one of uh, uh, the most uh, famous. Uh, um, let's say durum sandwich uh, maker <laughs> in berlin so i mean I, I i think you will not miss anything in that area <laughs> so fine um was there any other question of any kind <laughs> okay someone is saying that it was a great presentation i okay i'm thankful <laughs> everything could be better honestly always but thank you very much <laughs> uh, Fine. Thank you, Susanna. It was a no problem. Presentation. <laughs> <laughs> it was a pleasure, Burje. Thank you very much. If anything is needed, I mean, uh, don't hesitate. Thank you. Uh, I guess you covered the all questions. I think so. Yes, it seems like it uh, seems like to me. I think I didn't forget anything, even if it's always possible. So you also okay. put your email address in the chat box. So if there are yes. more questions, they can reach you. They can contact you personally also. Uh, so is there anything you would like to add uh, before we say goodbye? No, thank you very much. Thank you very much for inviting me, first of all, to everybody for attending, listening, and having patience <laughs> with the presentation, drinking water, and so on. And uh, no, but really, uh, apart from jokes, uh, if anything is needed, uh, please, at any time, let me know. We hope to be in touch with you. We, you, we hope you found it interesting and that it will be useful for your future studies. That's great. Thank you. It was very Bye. beneficial, actually. Hopefully, hopefully. Thank you very much. Thank you. So bye-bye. Bye, bye-bye. Have a nice evening. Bye. You too.